Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we're gonna do another tutorial, yet another tutorial. Um, I found my uh, little area that I was building stuff, and others have been building stuff too. As you can see, the little awesome face has been added. I didn't do that. Didn't do the mid at night either. But <coughs> anyway, today we're going to be building a. I don't know if it's actually been done before with sticky pistons where it looks like this, but um, I'm gonna do it anyway. So it's it's a drawbridge, I guess you can say. Um, it, well, I've seen one with pistons where it like actually like um, it like brings the bridge to you and then it brings and then you can push the bridge out, but uh, this is just straight up just there and back it's just it, it closes and opens um, and that's why it's the pistons are facing this way so I've set it up to where there's six sticky pistons I don't really need too many and plus um, if you run too much red wire then you got to use a bunch of repeaters and stuff so uh, six should be good enough as you can see I've just built a little stronghold right here nothing too fancy schmancy <coughs> So uh, I just started out with uh, going 10 blocks across, um, excuse me, um, I need like water or something, um, and you're going to have to eventually build back behind here. So it's going to be two uh, blocks in front of your entrance uh, so that it'll allow some room for the redstone. And I noticed that earlier when I built this um, back here when it runs th where the redstone wire runs through um, you're gonna need to like leave some space here but you can put a block like right there so that it can allow the redstone wire to keep continuously going through and just to, like improvise or whatever you can just put a torch or something on the block it's on two places and um, and you'll see that as we progress so just pretend like this would be the flat land. Like it'll be going straight this way. So you're gonna be building one at least one down. And I'm just gonna go ahead and knock these bricks out real quick. I'm trying to recollect how exactly I did this. So we're gonna want these in front of you. And then put your piston block, however you need it. And we are going to run it this way. You go away. All right, and then. we need to run our redstone wire and you're gonna need redstone wire and repeaters because of the way that this is set up um, it doesn't matter where you set the repeaters but preferably like so no like this yeah doesn't really interfere with anything we need the repeaters because if you try and put it like this it closes the circuit as you can see here it doesn't reach out to the pistons and that's the reason why you need the uh, the repeater there you don't have to put any um, oh there's a lot of people here you don't need to set the delay settings to anything special just leave it the way it is so we're just gonna run it back like so and then Peter redstone Peter redstone and Peter okay and you will run <laughs> I'm awful at this. I don't know why. Um, there we go. 
Right? No. Go down. There we go. And then down. Yeah. Well, no. You're still gonna need to run that wire down, so I got that blocking. So that way we can run put your blocks over this. That's why I build a you build it one down. That way you can cover the redstone um, back up like so. Something that's not right here. Um, build my doors, so it's going to be like so, I want the redstone to be here, somehow this is still not right. at exactly it's where these corners are and it's that extra space so let me cover this up well what's going on here that's not right I should be able to reach all the way out there this out. So it's right above the first block that goes down that you're going to need that space. So you can do it like that. And then you can just uh, cover everything else up. Oh, so it looks like I, I did it the completely wrong way last time. Um, even if you cover it up like this to cover the... Uh, like the little wooden sticks that sticks out of the pistons, it still looks good. And you can modify this to look however you want. Let's do this the easy way. Uh, put a block right here just to be safe. <coughs> okay, and just to check. And now you've got your setup to where you gotta like so. I got those. Oh, leave those there. <coughs> Alright, and then uh, from here, since your pistons are these blocks here one block down, you can do one or two oops, we can color this 
this up with stone just to make it look pretty. you have a place to trap your enemies <laughs> cool right and then you can like make this into well because monsters can always jump on the second block if they wanted to it's not the block I was looking for this is not the block you're looking for just all the way around make some sort of neat um, deal so that they can't get through and uh, yeah if they try to get through there's only lava to hug them and give them hugs and kisses and much love until they die <laughs> yeah so uh, and if you ever want to just bring it back up set it again and booyah and and that's that uh, it's you if, if you're in survival um you wouldn't be able to even get out unless you put it back anyway so if you were ever in this situation to where it's like oh how do i get back there then you did something wrong <laughs> i mean you can always like someone can always like dig a hole into your fortress unless you made it out of obsidian or bedrock which you couldn't even do unless you were in creative um, and just protect it from being able to do that. <laughs> Other than that, it's uh, it's a pretty simple setup. I like how it's all set up myself, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video, the tutorial, and give it a like if you liked it, and uh, make sure to share it as well, and and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.